Welcome. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this awesome cover using already Microsoft Word. So, first of all, open Microsoft Word, create a blank document, and change the page size to letter. Make sure the orientation set to portrait and the margin values are all set to zero. Click OK and ignore the warning. Now let's create a blank page and insert the picture of the reference magazine cover. We will use this picture as a reference. This cover is actually designed by freepic.com. I am just showing you how to create it in Microsoft Word. Ok, let's remove the extra parts by cropping it. When you are done, click outside. Now let's change the text warping of this picture to behind text and resize this picture to fit in this page. Please note that I am holding control key and using mouse scroll to zoom in and out. Normally we move objects using mouse. But you can also use keyboard arrows to move objects very accurately. Now let's start creating this cover in this blank page. For that, insert a background picture. This picture is downloaded from pixels.com. Crop this picture from the right side because we don't need this whole picture. When you are done, click outside. Now flip this picture horizontally and resize it to cover the whole page. Because this picture will stay in the background, change its text wrapping to behind text. I think we should move this picture slightly to the left side. And now insert a rectangular shape and change its color to white. Also remove the outline and rotate it. Like this. Set its height to 0 0.47 cm. Insert a triangular shape. Move it and resize it. Now change its color to white and click on the more fill color now set the transparency value to 69 okay and remove the outline color now duplicate it by holding control key and place it over the previous shape duplicate the new shape again and place it over itself and now select the first two triangles by holding control key and right click on them, click group and duplicate the group by holding control key rotate it 180 degree and place it like this I think we need to make it a little bit larger so resize it place it here Okay, let's ungroup them and duplicate a shape holding control key and 
rotate it place it over here and make it smaller place it like this okay now take another triangle and draw it over here rotate it 90 degree and place it here now let's resize it and change the fill color to white and remove the outline now let's duplicate the shape and change its width to 15 cm rotate it place it over here and rotate it little more make sure the rotation value is set to 239 degree click ok move it a little bit adjustment is needed and our main design is almost complete now let's write this text by using some text box click text box and click on the draw text box and draw a text box over here set the font size to 80 and a matching font type now write the text remove the white background from the text box by clicking shape fill and no fill and also remove the shape outline now duplicate it by holding ctrl key and change the text size to 14 write your subtitle now select a line shape and draw it over here under the matching and change its outline color to black resize it if needed let's move the text box and shapes over here I'm using keyboard arrows to move the objects draw another text box and write your texts Here I have just used a shortcut called RAND which creates some random texts. I'm using Ctrl C to copy V to paste. Write a subheading if needed. Copy and paste this subheading over here. Select the text and remove extra spacing between them by clicking remove space after paragraph and set the spacing value to 1.0. Okay, a little bit of adjustment here. This is the main heading. When you are done, remove the background color and outline color. I forgot to leave space for the barcode so I need to 
reposition these shapes and the text boxes let's remove these extra pieces from this line and let's move it little upward The best thing about using text boxes is you can move them anywhere, anytime. Now let's create another text box or duplicate one and write the bottom part. make it smaller and move it to its correct place open the internet and search for ISBN number generator and open this link now type in any random ISBN number starting with 978 and hit refresh now click download and your picture of ISBN code will be downloaded let's click insert and picture select the ISBN code I click insert by default it will have the default text wrapping so change the text wrapping to in front of text move it rotate it and resize it now place it over here and with this our design is complete if you are planning to print it then you can save it as a pdf file also this way you can open it using photoshop i am just saving it as a document so that we can edit it in the future if needed now let's remove this part the reference image by clicking delete and press delete again now let's save another copy as a pdf file select pdf from the save as type and click save look at it this is the final result that we have created now if you have any question or suggestion please leave it in the comment section don't forget to hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel see you in the next video